Greetings, 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 and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's really an exciting today because I got some great announcements for you. Jason, behind Kronos Blade, who brought us the Janus Watch, got some update news for you guys. And hopefully it's going to like echo through the whole Android watch market. This is why it's so valuable to work with somebody that's actually in Shenzhen, China, that can actually work with the folks at the factories because we can make things happen. Here's something that's happened. This is the original Janus watch, the one that we reviewed earlier. And as we mentioned, in a lot of these watches, whoops, I got my brightness setting thing on this one. When we get over here to the side panel that gives you all of the fitness stuff and you execute like an outdoor run, which you would like to have tracked with GPS, unfortunately, when you start it, it immediately goes into timing it. The icon is solid blue and it's getting its data from pedometer, step count, not GPS. You're not getting a track. It's like so lame. I mean, ah, no. This is a fitness watch and an Android watch. So it really needs to have GPS integration. There is, as you've seen in the Thor 4 Duel, for example, a really nice representation of this same basic app, but it has the stuff in there for doing uh, GPS when you're coordinated with either an outdoor run, an outdoor walk, not an indoor run because you're not going anywhere from a perspective of GPS or a bike ride. Those are the three main modes out of all the different sports they give you. Well, <laughs> I'm here today to tell you folks that this is the same Janus watch. Pretty much. A couple of other little differences. But it's the same watch. However, things have changed. You still have all the same activities over here. But you now have the ability to not only use GPS for outdoor run or outdoor walk and bike ride, but if you don't want to, for some reason, you can't use GPS. You're not going to be strapped and not be able to do it. You can use the standard pedometer approach. Let me get clear on that. Instead of going over here, we're going to stay with the apps. Watch me now. You're going to come down here to where you find fitness. And that's where you get the nice color pictures, right? I'm going to do that on this one just so we can compare. I'm going to come over here, get down here to fitness, get in here, and looks pretty much the same, right? Okay, let's dim that down a little bit. There we go. We're on outdoor, run on both of these. Watch this. If I slide over here, I get my records. There's two dots at the top. If I slide over here, I get my records. But wait, there's three dots at the top. If I slide one more dot, I have a new page called GPS. If this is off, this watch will function just like this one has been in the past. If I go into the uh, outdoor run and I say go, it's actually going to invite you to make sure that your um, watch is close to your wrist to get better heart rate. It's giving you that little advice. Solid blue icon, it's timing, everything is working with the pedometer inside just like we saw here. Come over here. It does have now the long over that you have to press and hold to exit it. And then you could delete that record. So that's all the same. But watch, if I come over here and I turn on GPS in the app, which you cannot do um, from over here, okay? All of this stuff has to be set up ahead of time in the app. That's what's critical about this. Okay, we are in the app. Now I could either go into fitness or I could come over here because I've turned GPS on. I can say outdoor run. I hit the start and look, it invokes the GPS like we've seen in all the watches that are set up to use GPS. I can say go to setup. It's going to let me turn on GPS. I can exit out of that. 
I can hit go. It's going to go looking for GPS. It found it. It's going to say tighten it to your wrist. It's going to start. And it's giving me another notification to make sure that it's working. The icon is flashing. It's acquiring GPS. It's got, I mean, it's just, it's doing it the way we're used to seeing it done. But it's working off of GPS now instead of off of pedometer. So you have your choice for walking, running, and biking. Now, biking is kind of a special thing. In the biking world here now, when we are in the fitness app and we come down here to biking, ride bike, uh, which I want to do on this one. We'll just do it from the side panel. Okay, start the ride bike from here, and it's just going to, well, sit there. <laughs> Hello, how come you aren't even talk timing? Uh, we should have started. Um, it's only going to give you your heart rate and your calories burned because riding a bike, it has no way of knowing how far you've gone. It can't use the pedometer, so you really have limited information. But let's hit go on this one. There you saw it flash for GPS. It's already got it. It's tracking it in my house. Now we are doing exactly what we were in the running or the walking because we're going to cover physical distance and you're going to be getting your um, distance uh, from GPS. And this one isn't even running right now. So that is a major, major shift and update to the overall fitness app in the Janus. But it's possible we may see this propagate to all the other watches, perhaps with a firmware update for existing ones. Definitely, we hope, for future ones. But for sure, right now, it's in the Janus. Yeah, so if you haven't bought a Janus yet, you may want to consider it now that it has the GPS integration. Is this going to be available for those of you who have already bought the Janus? Will it be an over-the-air push to update the app so that it will work in the older versions like it is now in the new versions? Check the show notes down below because as we speak in China, Jason is working with the company to resolve that question to see if we can get it pushed for the older watches. Will it be pushed to other watches that use this older uh, approach? I don't know yet, but if I find out, and he'll find out for us, we'll put that in the show notes too. If I know which watches it's gonna work for, we'll let you know that. And uh, by the way, if you do think about getting a Janus, there's also been an internal change too. A lot of folks were concerned about battery life as we always are on these. The original Janus came with a 600 milliamp hour battery. The Janus now, same name, same everything, is packing an 800 milliamp hour battery. So what, one fourth, 25% more? I don't know my math on that, 600 to 800. It's 800 milliamp hour battery should give us a, a few extra hours of life uh, in the, the new Janus um, as opposed to the original Janus. Now, there really it is one Janus. It's not like a new model. It's still called the Janus. It's still the same one, but it does have a battery bump up to 800 milliamp hours. Those of you who have the older one, you have the 600 milliamp hour, and this is what happens in technology. You know, the early adopters see the best new technology, but it's constantly improving. So we have an 800 milliamp hour uh, version available right now. Chronosblade.com is Jason's direct website. Now the last bit of information, and this is the most fun. Jason and I have been working in the background on developing a completely new watch, taking pieces and parts from all the great designs we've seen so far in the past, blending them together with a few other goodies and hopefully coming up with, well, Mr. Tick's daily driver, the watch of my dreams, the one I'd like to wear all the time but don't because a certain watch does one thing and a different watch does something else. It ain't going to be everything to everybody, of course, but it's going to hopefully have a lot of the features that we've been just looking for blended together into one watch and hopefully have it up by Christmas. Yeah, it's, it's a work in progress, but 
the factory, the actual people that manufacture these and make cases in different sizes and shapes and, and put things all over them the way they're laid out. Those guys have Jason's ear and he has theirs and together. Well, keep watching. We're going to have some news for you soon. Alright, you've been watching A Course Smartwatch Ticks. You are visiting chronosblade.com. You'll probably learn first about all this stuff either there or here or both. We might do a timed release, who knows. Uh, but definitely check out where we're headed and uh, the market is ripe, really ripe for finally maturing in the world of smartwatches. And we are here now to experience it. Great, great time to be alive. All right, see you again soon.